Come along and let's go look at the nachos. Woo! Oh my God, I have to cut a tomato. Hi guys, what is up? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tonight, on this Saturday evening, I'm going to show you how to make nachos. God, it's okay, it's okay. But to switch things up, I might as well drink. Like, what else would you do during quarantine? Nothing. But also, when you're drinking, it's gonna be a lot better when you have nachos to like re reward yourself later with. Um, I'm not going off any recipe, just something that I threw together. I went to the store in a lot of stress. But without further ado, let's start with our cocktail. You're gonna take a cup, three-fourths of ice. <laughs> you guys remember this? <laughs> if you haven't, go check out that video. I make a different drink. Just probably like one shot is good. And of course, Sprite. <laughs> <gasps> oh God, this must be how nachos were gonna go. Jesus. Okay, let's... Okay, simmer down. Might as well just try my drink. You can definitely just only taste the Sprite. Okay guys, welcome back. I finished my drink. So, with that being said, I'm gonna show you how to make another one. Three-fourths cup of ice. Your peach vodka. Just a shot. Cool. Your Sprite. So I know like the whole plan was to do nachos and honestly, I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna get to it. I just, I'm looking at the tomatoes right now. I'm sorry, oh my God. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, okay. Ah. Huh. <laughs> Oh, it's recording. Oh my god. I want you all to know that this is a sham. And I don't know if I can continue under these conditions. It's really, really stressful being like a one-man show. But I wouldn't change it for anything. Also, like, nachos just seem a lot of work. So I feel like the more I drink, the less I'll think. I was really telling myself not to rhyme here, and then I did it. And then also, I was really telling myself, like, maybe, like, make popcorn instead. Boom! So, I'm gonna find my spatula. I have such a shiny forehead. Oh my god. Sorry. Okay. Tenderize your meat. No, that's not true. But, for nachos, you're gonna want to, you're gonna wanna cook this. Cause that's gonna, that's gonna be like your whole, your whole idea. It is, this is, this is terrible. Check out this view. So you're just gonna cook your meat and like make sure it's all the way cooked. I'm very conceited, I'm a, I'm a, Honestly, I really wonder if I used um, too many chips. So I. I smell gas, and I know that I'm using like a gas stove, but I just, I can really smell it. And I feel really confident about this. I've already had dinner tonight. Okay, it's actually, I probably smell the gas because I just turned on the oven. You can have one. One. You can have one more. Hold on, let me hold it quick. Can I have a paw? paw? Can we paw? <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. Here. Oh. I just want you to be happy and feel loved. Here's another one. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're a boy. So, I chugged my drink, and I watch me make another one. It's, it's gonna go smooth, or smoother. Kind of like, kind of like this drink. <laughs> Sponsor me, spray.
Like, it's okay. Now you're gonna add the water, cause this, oh, this baby is about to simmer. Ow, ow! There's still, maybe it's empty. No, I hear it actually, it's not. Okay, we'll just, mm. just gonna let it simmer so it cooks in the flavor. What are some signs that you can tell when you're drunk? Mine are with tequila, that's my go-to drink, tequila and orange juice, is I will, I'll drink the first one, I can taste it, and I'll be like, okay, like, I can taste the tequila, this seems right for me. And then on my second drink, I'm always just like, I, I can't taste the tequila. And that's like when I know <laughs> I'm a cheap date. <laughs> Honestly, I think I messed up. I think I just got, I, and, I guess if you guys don't know how to make nachos, I hope that, that like this helps you. I hope that you find this video that you authentically are like, wow, like, okay, like now I know how to make nachos. Put your chips on a tray with aluminum foil, not the parchment paper. I don't think that would work. Not that that was an option for me because I know better, but just in case if you didn't, no, that don't do parchment paper. Uh, you're gonna cut it and dice it like to small pieces or I guess whatever pieces you prefer, but I prefer small. Whoa, did that work or what? I hope it looks good. Somehow I'm bleeding, which is totally fine. I don't know how it happened. Sanitary stuff first as I, as I just, oh. I just really hope this looks cool. Go bomb. All right, then you're gonna add your olives to taste. If you like black olives, like, a lot of my friends don't, and like, it's okay, but you don't. They're just so salty. I use the whole thing. Well, <laughs> there's a couple left. A little bit, a little bit of jalapenos. I like to call them jalapenos. Okay. Yeah. These are some nachos. Woohoo! The freaking tomatoes. Gross. Stupid. I think it looks great. We're gonna, let's put this in the oven and let's just see how it looks because I feel confident. I feel really confident. I think it's gonna turn out. All right, so the nachos are cooking. I would say probably 10 to 15 minutes just to like melt the cheese, warm up the tomatoes. This is honestly a really good combination. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the peach vodka and the Sprite, it's like a lemon lime peachy. I think I'm onto something. So, Austin, what's your favorite food? Okay, my favorite food, favorite meal, I would say is seafood Alfredo. Um, seafood Alfredo. I love Italian. Love Italian food. Love shrimp. He's just running around. He's being really cute. You having a good time? Would I ever make that? No. No, I wouldn't. Uh, it would be a lot of work. And honestly, I'm really trying to do a video. Thank you. So, seafood Alfredo, I wouldn't do because it's just too hard. I'll f it's just better at a restaurant. Like salads. You can make homemade salads, but honestly, they're better at the restaurant. I don't even know if I'm full, or I don't even know if I'm hungry. It just took me a long time to do. Like, really long. Also, I hope that this is like very organized and clear. So like when you guys look back, you're like, I know how to make nachos now. I'm really bummed that I put tomatoes on those. I'm really just gonna pick them off. What I was told in foods class is that you should have like your food groups be like colorful. So like your plate shouldn't be like just greens or your plate shouldn't be like just like not a colorful thing. Like rice and grains and meat. 
So you should have like your meat, your tomatoes, which are red, and you should have your lettuce, which is kind of green. <laughs> Just make it a colorful plate. So the reason I'm getting about to the where I'm about to get to where I'm, my nachos are colorful and that they're red because of the tomatoes and what I was told in 10th grade. That's all I was trying to say from that. I can smell the nachos. I can smell them. All right, you guys. I have the nachos, they are done. They are cooled off. And this is like the, the end result. And I'm just gonna like dive right in cause I'm super excited. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can tell, I am wearing different clothes because um, last night I failed to press the record button as I sat down and like devoured so much of these nachos. I didn't get it on footage, so today I'm just, I warmed these back up just because I wanted you guys just to see them. They were really, really good, but also like the ending to my video just wasn't there last night. Talk about amateur. I feel like for the most part, it was really successful and I feel fine today. I would love to make new foods. So if you guys like think of anything, let me know. And I would love to make it. Just make sure it's not really hard. Although I do love a challenge. I do. Alright guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I just had honestly I had a great time last night just being crazy in my kitchen just making nachos that I feel shouldn't have been $30 <laughs> also I feel like they shouldn't have taken like two hours to make but hey I did it and just thank you for joining me on this ride until next time you guys have a great day bye